today we uh, we went out to this food service and we interviewed and helped out with uh, the food bank and we got to hear all the stories about the people who come here and what their backgrounds are and we got to help out with handing out food and it was a great experience. Well, since we started keeping our database, we've served over 3,300 people at this point. 3,300 people? Uh, actually, families. Last year alone, we did over 69,000 people that we touched. Now, most people want to do something for someone, right? Mm -hmm. But to the extent that you're doing it, they don't get that. When God places a call on your life, you have to do what he tells you to do. It's not as always easy as some people think, but you're much happier doing what he wants you to do voluntarily rather than kicking and screaming. Sourdough, rye, or regular French bread. Oh, okay. And he's, right, he's, got, he's got two caps. Okay. He's come with, with two. So, hook him up on two. Churches have the food banks, but not like this. It's so organized, I think. And that helps a lot. Have you met Brother Tim? Big dude? Yeah. Yeah, I've met him. Mm -hmm. He's always singing. Now, when Christ was on the earth, it wasn't about 69,000, it was about one person at a time. That's right. You know, I never thought I'd be in this place where I needed help. You know, as I thought, I'm gonna work until I retire. And all of a sudden, bam. I used to be a nurse's aide for years, working in hospital, taking care of people. I met this woman and she told me to um, go over on Harpersville. There was a church there and someone would help me you know, get more food for my family. Uh, I only get $16 for the food stamps, which don't buy very much. $16, and that's it? That's all I get, food stamps. And that buys a loaf of bread, a thing of milk, a package of butter, and sometimes I get cheese to make grilled cheese sandwiches. And I told us about five of those when I still over in Harpersville. And once we didn't see any sense going there yet because um, we were still homeless. But on Tuesday, I can come here and get food and and uh, get and and uh, ha and have a hot meal. My food bill is gone it, more than half, so it helps every week to pick up hip, different things that they have. I'm just really thankful that um, there is a community of outreach service out here, such as the Five Love uh, program, because I know that there's a need out here to help families with a low income or whatever they're going through. Yeah, I'm just grateful and thankful for the service. We've had lots of stories. We've had great-grandmothers that come in that woke up in the morning with their great-grandchildren on their doorsteps because their granddaughter was thrown in the jail. We've had people that have come in that have been sleeping on the streets that have heard from other people what we do. I think the biggest thing about us is that we've developed a trust relationship with the people in the neighborhood that we're always going to be here for them and we'll always respect them and we'll always love them. Nope, nobody asked me any questions about myself, nope. This is the first time? Yep, just y'all. Oh, the atmosphere here is wonderful. Uh, people are receiving uh, of anybody that comes in here and they, they just show love and compassion. I've been coming here with my wife for about a year. She's um, disabled, so I can't really bring her today. Cause she's got a walker, so. The food that they give us helps us out. It's appreciative. This lady brought me my first time here because I had run out of food. Mm -hmm. And I've been coming up here every Tuesday and every Friday morning since then. But without the volunteers, none of this could happen. It, 
we j I just don't have the hands. I don't have the feet. And the volunteers are our hands and feet. And all of us are God's hands and feet. And the volunteers, the people that volunteer here, they deserve a whole lot of thanks too because they work hard getting everything, food just right, and making sure that those of us that can't eat pork have something else on the side in the back that would help. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> they are very helpful. Yeah, I look forward to seeing them. There's only this one lady, oh, isn't out there, and I hope she's not sick. She usually comes out and talks to us about 15 minutes before we start. She's an elderly lady, and she usually takes your name and number, but she wasn't here today, so I hope she's not sick. But she, she's a nice, really nice lady. I look forward to seeing her. Um, do you have a favorite volunteer? Uh, Paula. I call her Paula. Um, she looks like Paula Dean, so one of the other people that were coming here mentioned that one day, and now it sticks in my head, so I always mess with her. <laughs> Ask her if I can get a picture with her. I tell her I'm going to bring one of them cookbooks one week when I remember. I got it home and have her sign it for me. <laughs> so she gets a laugh out of it. You know? Tell me how long you've been here today. Um, since about 4 o'clock. It's been pretty good. The one who's worked the hardest really has been Christine. Christine. Miss Christine, how long have you been here today? Uh, I got here at 10 at Wind Hall and then came back. 10 o'clock in the morning? Yes. And do you do this every Tuesday? No, it would kill me. We rotate. <laughs> <laughs> I like Baldy. Why? Because he's funny. I call him Baldy, but he just got his hair cut off. <laughs> he's bald today. But I like him. Why do they call you Baldy? Oh, the haircut. It gives it away, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're the favorite of a lot of folks we've already met. Yes, I've been here for about four years now. And I've come to know them pretty personal now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, we've come really close in the years. If you had to look, like look into the camera and, and say anything to the volunteers who give of their time here uh, to make this happen, what would you say to them? I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because it has been a blessing to me to know that people care enough to reach out to people that don't have enough. Thank you. There's nothing else to say. Yeah. I don't know if people say thank you and give back. They're willing to say thank you or don't know how. God bless you all and thank you a whole lot. That's helped us a lot because this is where we get the majority of our food. I really appreciate it. It's helped me a lot and I appreciate it a lot. I always thank them and tell them have a blessed day. <laughs> yeah. I would say thank you for your perseverance, your commitment to help in the community. A lot of churches come through here. I think we've got about four or five of them. And, and, and that's brought Christianship into my life. It's brought the Lord to me to help him fill me in with his spirits. I, I've become a better Christian for it. I feel, or I can't speak on five loaves, but if I can help feed a family from here so they have enough gas so they can get to work, I don't have a problem with that. If I can help a family to survive further so they can get bills paid, I don't mind that. Just not too long ago, we received a piece of paper, uh, unanimous. We don't know who it came from. Uh, they were homeless. They hadn't eaten in a week. And this little old piece of paper was just left on the desk for us to clean up the tables. And it said, I was hungry, and because of you guys, I'm no longer starving. Thank you. How much more better can you get to God knowing that you've helped somebody not go to bed hungry? Great to see you. Same time tomorrow. Yep. Take care, Anzino. Thank you, everybody. Isn't that an awesome name? It is an awesome name. He's my superhero. But Father Tim's a pretty cool one too. Their names are better. I'm just here to do the job. You're welcome.